Today's video is about the fat soluble vitamin K and its impact on chronic kidney disease. That's what we're discussing today. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and check out our other videos to learn more about how to help your kidney health and if you want to learn about me. So vitamin K. What is vitamin K? Vitamin K is a fat soluble vitamin. Vitamin K gets broken down into different types. Vitamin K1, vitamin K2. Now when it comes to vitamin K, it's traditionally known to clot your blood and that's what it's been used for. But if you look further at the different types of vitamin K, when we look at vitamin K2 broken down further, it becomes MK4 and MK7, and the MK7 doesn't have that effect and actually has a lot of benefits when it comes to chronic kidney disease. And the benefits in terms of bone health and preventing complications or possibly preventing complications and helping cardiac conditions like atherosclerosis, uh, helping calcification of the arteries, which is the leading cause of death in people with chronic kidney disease. So I'm gonna talk about MK7 a little bit more and exactly what dosage is, what you should consider using. Talking about this article here, we have vitamin K1, just so you know, that comes from green leafy vegetables. Vitamin K2, a, a large, large portion is produced by intestinal bacteria and having some fermented foods like natto, certain cheeses, yogurts, uh, kimchi, uh, a Korean dish. And it's also really good to take some probiotics, at least at some point with chronic kidney disease, because the probiotics are the intestinal organisms which produce that vitamin K, okay, the, the MK7 that you want. So you can look at other videos about probiotics that we have. Now, MK7, it seems to be very important. This is what this whole article is about. And People with chronic kidney disease from stages three to five, dialysis, have a very, very high rate of low vitamin K status or subclinical where it may be like low normal where it's not up to par. Unfortunately, testing this is, is difficult and you're most likely never gonna get a doctor to test it, but it's okay to supplement with it if you want. And also, uh, the complication of calcification of arteries which leads to heart disease is found in a very high portion of people with kidney issues. So in here they talk about up to almost 80% of people and up 70, 80% of people with chronic kidney disease or on dialysis for any period of time. So what do you want to do? Okay. First off, if you have chronic kidneys, most likely you're going to want to take vitamin D3 because that's one of the big preventers or helpers of calcification. It can really benefit. So get your vitamin D level checked. That you can definitely get checked. And if you take vitamin D, make sure it has MK7 in it and try to find one of the highest doses of vitamin D3 with the MK7. Now, what they mentioned in the study is that the lower doses didn't seem to show the benefit as opposed to the higher doses, possibly over a longer period of time. There's no established supplementation on this. Okay, so just want you to know that. I've been taking MK7 a long time and so have hundreds, thousands, thousands of other people for their heart health if you wanna look up more about how it's traditionally been used, traditionally meaning the last 10 years or so. So MK7, if you wanna get this separately, you wanna get up to 300 micrograms per day, at least in that area, and that's shown to be fine. Make sure you get your probiotics, okay, so that you have enough of those proper intestinal bacteria to make a lot of that MK7. And you can have some fermented foods, okay, that we discussed, other fermented foods, whichever ones will fit into your kidney diet. MK7, important good for you. Depending on what you're trying to do, it may not be on the first the list of supplements to take if you're really just focusing on getting kidney health back. This can be something that you may want to focus on after you really are looking at the kidney health. It really depends on how much supplements you want to take a day. Thanks for watching everybody and to your best kidney health. Bye.